Hey guys, this is BaseballBoy4210, back playing Minecraft, and today is something a little special. Um, as you uh, might know, uh, you might not know, uh, if you do though, uh, um, B00 Engineeric B, the B team, uh, they are building a factory on the Feed the Bee server, and uh, they're going to put an alarm system in it, I suppose, um, one of these days. So, what I've done is sort of made a uh, an alarm system of my own that I'd like to show them um, as a suggestion for their factory. It works just as a, so a real alarm works. You have to, you know, press a button to deactivate it and such. Uh, but anyway, so right now the alarm is deactivated. I don't even think I have sounds on. Okay, no. Not music sounds. Okay, sounds are on now. Oh wow. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. So sounds sounds were off, that's why I couldn't hear the um the alarm. Uh okay, well, you just heard it there, that's the alarm going when I'm over the pressure plates. Now, if you want to deactivate it, press the button. No problem. You can make emeralds all day long. You know, do all this stuff, um, and leave no problem. Set the alarm, and then uh, walk away for the rest of the uh, night. Now, what do you suppose if uh, Etho comes over and decides to steal all your emeralds? He's gonna come over here, and then oh, oh no! Get your snacks, everyone. And then the B team rushes over, and Etho is caught for uh, attempted burglary. Um, poor Etho. Anyway, uh, that is the alarm, so let's deactivate it for now. And now I'm going to show you how it works and how to make it. So we're back. I've dug up a bit of the ground. There's a bat inside, um, but I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like underneath. So the same wire that connects the pressure plates to the pistons also connects over to, uh, down here, uh, to this T-flip-flop. Um, so when this gets, when the pressure plate gets stepped on, the power goes to the T-flip-flop, um, turning the T-flip-flop so that power runs up to the alarm, and it doesn't stop until they step over the pressure plates again. So pretend it's going off, now it'll be off um, for good until someone steps on the pressure plates again. Um, that T flip flop is very important, otherwise, um, the alarm will only go off when they're actually standing on the pressure plates. So, next, the button. How this works is when you press it, it goes to this T flip flop. When the T flip flop, when this button is powered, it changes the T flip flop, and it changes it so that if there, if you press the button, then that'll make this wire turn on, because that redstone torch will power this block, which then will be over there. And so yeah, this uh, this wire will be on. It will go down here, and it will connect to this piston. This piston will push a block this way, and so the redstone can go underneath the, this piston because its arm is transparent, and I th the whole block's transparent, I think, actually. Uh, but anyway, the uh, the wire will um, go through just fine, and then that will power, that will be able to power the alarm. So let's deactivate or activate the alarm as you can see now this T flip flop is powering this wire which is then power this piston and now the wire is fine and it can flow through so then if one were to step on the pressure plate the alarm would go off and it stays on because of this T flip flop So that's basically how it all works. 
Um, you need a wire from uh, the pressure plates to go to a T flip flop so it'll stay on. That wire will then go to this piston setup where if you push a button this piston will extend uh, having the wire be able to pass through to the alarm and that is what sets the alarm and then um, also this wire when you press it will activate this T flip flop determining whether this uh, redstone line is on or off and if it is on then the alarm is set and if this piston is back and uh, this redstone wire is off and the piston is retracted and the alarm is not set.